What is up, my people? It's Marshall from Holix here. And man, it feels like I haven't said that in a long time. Now, most of us probably heard by now that there were more updates coming for Cyberpunk and they were going to be huge. And this patch continues that trend because it comes in right under 17 gigabytes for me. And it's saying that it's going to take over 20 minutes to download, so it is pretty large. Now let's go ahead and jump into the patch notes so I can give you all the details on 1.1. And also for those who want to visually see if the game performs better, I'm going to be doing some live play testing uh, shortly after this video goes up. So I would say within about 30 minutes from the time that it's posted. So let's start with stability. It says that memory usage improvements have been added for various elements. So that's for the character, interactions, navigation, uh, mini map, devices. It, there's a lot listed here. So that's much improved. And there's various crash fixes. And it says it's related to loading saves, game opening says closing, and point of no return. I'm not sure what that one is. I would assume maybe later towards the end of the game. But that is welcome to hear because I still get a good amount of crashes whether I'm on PlayStation 5 or PS4. Now, um, with the user interface, they fixed an issue where prompt for exiting brain dance could be missing and they removed an invalid item from loot. Doesn't say what the item was though. And then visual, they fixed an issue where a grenade's trajectory could be displayed in photo mode. Um, they fixed particles, hue appearing pink when viewed close up. They fixed car spawning incorrectly in reported crime. Welcome to the city. And then there was an achievements issue that was fixed as well, where completing one of the assaults in progress in Santo Domingo would sometimes not contribute towards progression for the jungle achievement. And there's various uh, miscellaneous issues. I won't go over every single thing, um, but they said they fixed a, like saves getting oversized, and that's related to the mod modifier indicating that the item is crafted and they trim the excess size from already existing saves. Now, again, this will not fix PC save files corrupted before 1.06 update. That's something else they listed in the last update. Um, so anything that's corrupted, it doesn't seem like it's ever gonna be any going back forward unless there's something coming up in upcoming patches. But they also fixed an issue where input could stop registering upon opening the weapon wheel and performing an action. And hopefully they fix this. I don't know if you guys got this issue, but after I believe 1.05 for me, certain times when I do the weapon wheel, when I try to pull out a weapon, it actually, there's nothing there, it's just my hand. And it's weird because you can't shoot anybody, but if you hit shoot the, if you hit the trigger to shoot, it's almost as if you shot and then everyone's like alerted in the area, even though there's no gun in your hand and no bullets or anything comes out. So hopefully something like that is fixed as well. I haven't, I didn't see that specifically pointed out, but I'm hoping that's taken care of. Now, in specific issues with PlayStation, they said performance opti optimization of crowds on PS4 Pro and PlayStation 5 has been improved. And then they fixed various crash elements on PlayStation 4. With Xbox, they improve memory usage for character creation. So mirror, scanning, camera, remote, um, all that's improved. And then PC specific, it says it will now be possible to obtain achievements while in Steam offline mode. And it says, no, offline mode needs to be enabled before starting the game for this to work. So this change does not work retroactively. And they also address the game startup crashes related to loading the cache on the video graphic cards. Now, like other patches, there are so many, like maybe 15 or so listed or 20 of different like fixes to quests in the open world. Um, and I'll just read a couple of them. So they fixed an issue where calls from Delamain would end immediately and seem like they cannot be picked up. And then they fixed an issue where players would not receive calls from Delamain when approaching relevant vehicles in apostrophe. Now, um, I'm not gonna go through all of those. I do have the patch notes listed in the description of this video, so you can look through everything there. But there's a bunch of other issues listed for the quest. So hopefully that's a lot better. Now, let me know how the game has been performing for y'all. If you've actually just put it down and you've been waiting for more updates or have you still been playing, trying to give it a chance and just working through any type of bugs and things like that that you had, definitely let me know. 
Now, if you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. And I really appreciate you watching. And again, we are going to be going live to show off some gameplay uh, to see how much better it is. Uh, we're going to start off on PS4. After that, we may be, do a little bit of PS5 after, depending on how everything goes. So thank you all for watching and we will catch you in the next video.